<clears throat> Hi everybody, it's me again. Um, I wanted to do something a little different today than the regular channel general message because I felt like last time they didn't give us any new information and it was just too general and I know that we all have questions that we'd like answered and so I decided <clears throat> I had this idea when I woke up this morning that um, I don't know if you saw the video um, about me having a hypnosis session for myself to clear some things and I ended up seeing another layer of myself that was part of a a group I think they're Arcturian but they look like light beings I don't know anyway um, it was a small group that was working on helping with ascension um, by commuting communicating through consciousness like so this level of myself is helping me um, channel um, to get some information through sorry my thing is bouncing here um, anyway I think that video is titled something like why the event will happen or something like that but anyway so I was thinking about this this morning as soon as I woke up and I thought <clears throat> I need a I need a na an identifier something to call this being this other layer of myself which he called it I feel like it's a male energy and uh, so he gave me Theos <laughs> and they don't really need names because it's not like here where you know we all look similar but a little different so we just use our eyes to identify you know physical characteristics and that's Joe or whatever um, they have other ways of knowing who a being is without having to use eyes or ask names or anything they just know so <clears throat> anyway so theos and I looked it up and it means like deity which I think anything outside of the earth experience to us is it's kind of like a deity or a god or what you know people used to perceive as deities or gods <clears throat> anyway <coughs> nothing to do with Christianity at all just thought I'd say that so I wanted to um, ask him some questions. I asked if it was okay if I asked him some questions about what's going on, what's the plan, what, you know, blah, blah. We have so many questions, don't we? And, um, and I think the other groups that I didn't get information on last time are also willing to tell us about what they're doing to help this ascension and to help us. So, so I'm going to try to connect with him and see what he says. I've got a list of questions here. And then I've got some information at the end that I need to talk about my Patreon channel, my um, hourly fees and all that. So let's get started. <clears throat> Give me a sec. So the first thing I want to ask is, what is the current status with his group? I know they were working with human consciousness, channeling, you know, helping people channel something about intuition so i'm just going to ask him what's the status what are you working on right in this moment with your group or right in our moment i should say <clears throat> He's explaining that right now they are helping us to hold a particular frequency as steady as possible. <coughs> Sorry, I've got sinusy stuff going on today. And I'm seeing like a grid. We're trying to hold a grid of, of vibration like they're trying to hold stable there's trying to stabilize through us not everybody but it looks like certain people in certain areas trying to get them using their connection to this group Theos group Theos's group connecting with certain individuals holding the frequency of that soul 
<clears throat> and he's saying it doesn't even really have to do with the body, so you can disregard. It's a consciousness state. And the way your mind works is you will feel confused or feel uh, conflicted or angry or um, impatient. And that has nothing to do with the vibration you're actually holding within your consciousness. So you won't even maybe realize that you're doing it. Sometimes you realize you're doing it, but not always. And they're very spread out. It's like, you know, I'm in the United States, so there may be one in one state and one at the furthest edge of another state. And it's just certain spaces where they're needed, but, they're, but we're very spread out. I think I'm one, but I'm not really sure. <clears throat> so the consciousness is sort of behind the scenes holding a particular vibration so why <clears throat> stabilizing so it doesn't drop so we don't go backward and he says that's all we can do right now why the chaoticness of the transition can cause us to revert back to our <clears throat> sorry former thoughts and ideas and ways of being so his group is helping us stabilize through our consciousness how does that help everybody though It's the whole, <clears throat> it's like a layer of frequency around the planet. <clears throat> it holds that frequency in place. It reminds me of like a, a shield on Star Trek. I have a lot of Star Trek references, sorry. Um, my parents were Trekkies. Um, yeah, so it's like it's holding a shield. It's keeping everybody at a certain, well, not quite a shield. It's it's like a uh, <clears throat> a stabilization field. That's what it is. It's it's holding everything steady. The consciousnesses of the beings steady, while this chaotic, seeming chaotic transition sort of takes place. We've got fires, volcanoes, earthquakes, um, political and social restructuring. So it's easy for us to revert, you know, to just throw up our hands and say, it's not working, we're going backwards, all this bad stuff is happening. So we need to hold a frequency so that we cannot, truly, we cannot go back. All right, so that's what they're doing right now. Can you tell me about the other groups? And because I can visually see, like, here's this group, there's here's, here's one, here's one, and here's one. So, what are some of the other groups' purposes and what are they doing right now to help us? He's starting on the right here. They look like tall, pale beings. Not getting a clear image, but it doesn't really matter. What's their purpose? Something to do with structure. I'm getting a weird combination of thought about the structure of the earth and 
holding it as it is and yet transforming it at the same time. So I'm seeing like mountain peaks. So there's like, they would be like stabilizing the mountain in the shape, the structure it is, so it doesn't just crumble and fall apart, but it looks like maybe like at a molecular level, the material of it is being altered. Does that translate to the whole earth? Yes, it's the foundation. The structure of the earth <clears throat> is changing. I feel like this is what people are talking about. You know, like the human bodies uh, converting to crystalline form, only their, their purpose, this group, is changing the the form of the earth not in cap catastrophic <laughs> catastrophic ways like um, earthquakes or anything but they are maintaining the stability of the structure while the basic at the very fundamental level the element of it is is changing Not not to crystalline, but to something different. So the mountain will look like a mountain, but it's fundamentally different. I guess we would say it's turning into a like a 5D mountain. It looks the same, but it may not feel the same. It may feel different about it in relation to it, I guess you would say. Okay. But they can only change it as fast as we are ascending because they can't. I mean, it has to, it has to be changed along with, they're working with all the other groups. So the consciousness has to be raised, the physical, structure of the earth has to be changed i'm not i'm assuming there's a physical structure of humans group is there i'm not sure all right is there another one that's important just like one more i'm getting a lot of detail i don't want to take too long all right, so I've skipped one, maybe two. There's a pinkish red being, they're short. They look kind of rock-like. They're showing me like light, like light, like beams of light. trying to figure out whether they're trying to communicate that they're controlling what the light from the sun the light from gamma ray bursts or where what all of it all of the incoming energy they are Bringing it, modulating it, what? No, they're not bringing it. Refining it. They're refining the energies coming in in all the different ways. The gamma rays, the source energy, the energy from our sun, the energy from the particles in space that we're passing through, all the residual energy. They're refining that so that we can assimilate it.
well, I say we, the whole, this whole situation, the whole earth project, every, every aspect of it, the physical, the non-physical, the us, our consciousness, everything, every being and everything, trees, rocks, fish, everything, dust, The energy coming in has to be managed. It's all a very complex working of all the groups working together to help us achieve what it is we wanted to achieve. And every everything Every being and everything was in agreement to do this. So it's not like anything's being imposed upon anything or anyone or like even the dirt is okay with being transmuted. That sounds funny, doesn't it? Okay, so I had some questions. Um Okay, so, and I don't know if they can answer this or not, but if we're feeling burned out and overwhelmed to the point that we can't do anything, we're like catatonic, inactive, and no, we can't take any action because we just, we don't feel like it's doing any good. Like we try and we feel like we're getting better and then we'll have a setback or whatever. How is that helpful? Like, what do we need to do? what do we need to do to help ourselves with the understanding that we are so overwhelmed right now? Like what can, what can get to it? What can you tell us that can give us a breakthrough, some kind of breakthrough that we can use to move forward, to feel like we're moving forward. giving me several things one is knowing that they are they are only one layer of all the help available they are the more um, I don't want to say more dense but closer to our density like they're actually physically physically uh, it's hard to find words to describe this stuff Mechanically, they're doing the mechanics to get this to happen for us physically. But there are other layers. That's just, that's just one layer. So they think that if we know that this is just one of many layers going on in the background, that we don't even... There's just so much. There's so much going on to cause this to happen. So that's one part. And also the other part is to know that we are at another level, these other beings. Like Theos is uh, another layer of me or another aspect or another, but it's a different, sort of an, a different time or dimension, maybe not time, because it's not really time, but. So we are participating, not just from this aspect where we're here on the ground feeling overwhelmed, but we are, we're doing it from outside too, and other aspects, other aspects of us are doing it from outside too. So does that mean we, if we connect in with them, then we will know what's going on or what, what we need to do or, To a degree, we don't need to do anything but try not to um, revert back for long periods of time. I, I personally, from this perspective, think it's not possible to not revert from time to time. It's just energy fluctuating because there's so many consciousnesses on the planet 
and we go up and down, you know, things happen. But he's saying there's really nothing that we have to do because our other aspects of ourselves are controlling, not controlling, but like helping stabilize, enhance. Um, we're taking care of the whole process from another level. So from that perspective, he's saying, this is why you keep getting the message that you just need to be and you need to try to do the things you enjoy um, because sitting and worrying about it is really just um, sometimes unavoidable, but it's not, it doesn't really help anything. And it makes you feel miserable. So you might as well try to do anything to make yourself feel a little, not anything. I mean, you don't want to go out and harm your physical body or anything, but you know, get, get together with a friend. If that helps have a cup of coffee or go for a drive someplace beautiful, like just any little thing. Um, but don't beat yourself up for feeling bad sometimes because that's kind of like, and you're not hurting anything by occasionally feeling bad. It's just, it's the state of this plane that we're on. But they're just saying, um, if you do something you enjoy, then at least you won't feel crappy all the time. So that's why they keep saying, you know, follow your joy, follow your joy, because we don't, we don't enjoy feeling bad and overwhelmed and sad and like nothing is happening. All right. So since we feel like nothing is happening, can you give us any kind of um, diverging from my questions? Give us some kind of, we like to see what's going to happen in the future. And I know everything is probabilities and it's up for debate because we don't, you know, you don't know what's going to happen from one second to the next and blah, blah, blah. There's so many variables, but what's the plan? Like, what are we trying to do here? What are you trying to do? I mean, we think we're trying to ascend the planet and get to a 5d space of beauty and light. And if not non polarity, then less polarity while we're in the physical. So, what are we trying to achieve? Like, what's the next step? What are we trying to do next? Okay, so wait, my question is like, if they're changing the structure of the earth, I'm assuming, although I didn't see it, I'm assuming there's a part where they're changing our physical vessels changing our consciousness but this just seems like a slow like excruciating process can't we speed things up like what what's our next thing i mean everybody's talking about the event but now it seems like y'all are just trying to do this like slow what what needs to happen to um <clears throat> to make a big leap forward to where we will feel it. We want to feel it, I think is the problem. Um, because when it happens slowly, you know, you might not notice it. Do, you don't notice unless you look five years into the past and you go, Oh, you know, I was completely different then. And now I'm, you know, feeling more connected to people and blah, blah. But we want a, we want a big jump that everybody on the planet is like, wow, that was, really something so are we not going to do that or what's happening you said something about getting over a hump and then what happens we're getting you over the this little hump And then you'll feel a sense of relief. You 
Can you describe this better? I'm feeling the energy shift. Feels more peaceful. So he's saying They're all working together to stabilize and change. And once the change is accomplished to a degree, then we'll all feel better more of the time. What, what, what's the timeline or what has to happen before that's accomplished? I don't have any concept of time, I don't think. I'm not good at projecting. Everything is now to them. They just know what they're doing now. But I'm feeling like I'm feeling like it's not a bad thing for us to imagine what it's going to be like do it like a before and after. So before is like now when you, well, not now if you're feeling good, but now if you're feeling frustrated, overwhelmed, can't seem to get ahead, stuck, that would be the before. And if you imagine an after where you feel relaxed and like you've accomplished something and like you know what your purpose is, and if you can imagine that and imagine what that feels like, I feel like that will click every all the different parts into place. At any moment, if we could just do that. Yeah, I'm feeling like it's just a matter of clicking all the parts together. So I'm asking if it would be helpful for all of us to just <clears throat> imagine all the parts clicking. You know, like when you meet a person and you just literally, that's the word we use, you just click and they get you and you get them. Only this would be like all people and all people with animals and all people and animals with the, you know, rocks and water and air, like everything. If we could all, I know we say we are all one, but this would be like a oneness with all of each other, all of everything. And we just have to imagine that all clicking into the same, um, Transform, transformed <laughs> I'm getting a headache right here because I can't get like I can't get the concepts like ah my brain doesn't work that way okay it's like all these councils are working on all these different pieces 
And all of it has to come all together. And it all has to come together in this after place that we like, that we want. So here's the before, and we're all kind of like, eh. and we want to, we want to imagine this click where all the pieces are in the places where we want them to be. I don't think I'm describing that well. Anyway, that's the best I can do. Um, I don't know how, how long this has gone. The one other thing I wanted to, okay, two, two more things. Would it be helpful to form a sort of human council to discuss what we feel like are, are our biggest challenges and then communicate those to some kind of other council that can then help us with that? Or do you already know? Like sometimes I feel like, um, I know some people feel frustrated that that it seems like the beings outside of this earth reality don't understand what we're going through. And, um, and so I was just curious as to whether they do understand and we, and just there are reasons we don't understand why they're not doing it the way we want or if it would be helpful to like literally on Facebook or something, get a group together and then we meditate on trying to send that information to these other beings, whoever's there to help and say, this is what we are struggling with. And this is what we need. You know, we think if like, for example, some people said, give the light workers some financial stability so that we can help more people and it would really speed this along. So, so I'm just going to ask like, do they already know or is it helpful for us from 3d to tell or 40 or whatever, wherever we are to tell these beings in the upper dimensions, like this is how it is here. And can you, we're asking for help. So. Okay, so they're saying it is true that once you get to the space where they are, the lack of negative polarity makes it difficult to hold on to the concept of the difficulty that we are in. Although they have been here and experienced human lives and they have experienced the hardship and the financial feelings of lack, I should say, in all, all kinds of things. But it is true that sometimes they can't hold on to that feeling of negative polarity. Although they do understand. But to them, it doesn't seem like the biggest part of the puzzle. So they're dealing with the biggest issues and the biggest parts. Shift the biggest things that they can. I still think we should do it. I still think we should get a group together um, to come up with some solutions from this perspective and then have them, well, tell them, you know, go into meditation and say, we need financial stability to temporarily, at least, until we shift to a place where we don't, we, we don't need it. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but I keep seeing 808. Whenever I see 808, I get another client <laughs> or I get unexpected money. So uh, anybody having financial trouble, if you see eights anywhere, eight repeating or 808 or 818 or 828 or 838, whatever on the time, focus on that. And I think you'll realize that that's when you see the money come. So sending you all eights right now <laughs> for anybody that needs it. Okay, one last question. Let me see how long I've gone here. Holy cow. Okay, so are there really three waves of volunteers? And if so, what is each wave's purpose?
it's weird because there's like a twofold thing. So I'm seeing like waves as in coming into our time periods, like first wave, my parents born in 1942. Both my parents have already left. It was really hard on them, but they did serve. They had serving professions, mental health, um, physically disabled. Um, yeah, they worked in that all their lives, but it really took, took a toll on them. It was hard on them. Um, second wave is those. I'm a second wave. And then, th yeah, so I see the, the three waves for this time period, but I'm also seeing that it's not just because time isn't what we think of it. Um, yes, I'm a second waiver that's here now, but I've also had a lot of other lifetimes in the past where I've worked to shift in different time periods, uh, the consciousness and the way we think of things. And I feel like there are a lot of us. We haven't just been working this lifetime. We've been working a lot of lifetimes. But it's because we have this perspective of time, linear time. But really, we are bouncing. So first waivers are like clearing the path for second waivers, which are clearing the path for the third waivers. Um, or enhancing. So the first wave enhances the work of the second wave, which enhances, I'm not even sure the third wave really needs our enhancement or help, but if they do need us, we're here for that. I feel like that's all I'm gonna get for that. That seemed like a lot, and I feel like I've probably been on here for a long time and I can't really tell how long I've been on here. So just real quick, um, so this is going on YouTube and I, I try to channel every Monday for YouTube or do something and sometimes I post extra stuff if I think of it. But um, I do have a Patreon account, channel, whatever it's called, account, I guess. And it's at patreon.com slash TTH for time travel hypnosis. And you can see all the videos that I've done just for my Patreon people for a dollar. Um, for five dollars, you get to ask questions that I'll do, that I'll answer in a channeling, and everybody gets to see that, but only the five dollar people get to ask questions. And right now, there's well, that's not true. The five dollar level and the twenty dollar level, both they can ask questions. And then right now, there aren't that many. So if you have questions, um, you know, your, your odds of getting your question answered, and these are general questions. Um, you know, if you have questions about the event or whatever, the odds are really high that you'll get them answered right now because there aren't that many five and twenty dollar level people. And the one dollar people can see them too. They just it's the five dollar and twenty dollar people they get to ask the questions to get answered. Um, just because I I needed to give a perk to those who 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 support me more. I guess that's all I can think of. So that at the twenty dollar you get a personal channel message every month <clears throat> and I've been asking since I only have a few right now I, I'm I've only let it up to 15 just because I'm worried about I'm not gonna have enough time to give everybody enough um, <clears throat> attention so right now I'm just letting the the people um, instead of just giving them a general message I'm letting them uh, give me one or two questions or a topic that they want a personal channel message on right now so and at the 20 you get that you get to ask questions for the channeling on top of the personal stuff. Um, and then you get access to all the other videos that I do. And I did a, I, I do hypnosis stuff too. I don't, not sure if I have any on there yet. Cause I just started this in what, September, end of September, my Patreon. And, um, but I will have like hypnosis things that you can listen to for on different topics. Um, and then I do have on there like last,
couple of weeks ago, I think I um, did an impromptu past life regression with my friend. My friend did it on me and it was really interesting. So anyway, just some housekeeping. I will be raising, I had lowered my prices for several months. I think I lowered my prices in the summer because I felt like there were some people that I needed to help that couldn't, wouldn't be able to be helped otherwise. And, um, and I help them. So, uh, I'll be raising my, it's $40 an hour now. I'm going back to my regular 65 an hour. So if you want the $40 an hour, um, right, do it, book it now. I'm not sure if, if you can't book far enough out, like you want, like if you can't, I'm not sure if it gives you like the very next appointment and you have to take that, but you can always email me or send me a message or something and I'll just work with you. If you don't, if you want to schedule and pay for a session and not do it until after the holidays or something, I can work that out anyway. So, and you'll get the, the cheaper rate right now. So anyway, uh, up to a year, I'll cut it off at a year. <laughs> so anyway, okay. So I hope y'all, enjoyed that um and i hope you made it through the 11 11 thing okay and i hope you had some exciting experiences and if you did please share them and um also one other thing i wanted to say is if you see a video that you like or you like any part of a video i'm not just talking about mine i'm talking about any videos you see on um youtube be sure and click the like button and just say like Put a little heart in the comments or say thank you because I just feel like you know there are so many people that will complain about things that they don't like or give it a thumbs down but we need to also remember to super support the people that we that we really enjoy listening to whether it's music or um, anything anything just if you any video that you enjoy hit the like button because as, as content creators, as people that put things out there, um, you know, we want to feel like we're not just talking to nobody and, you know, is it helpful to you? Then say, you say, yeah, that's great. Thank you for your support. Um, not talking about myself cause all you guys are awesome and you always like say kind things and it just, that's raising my frequency. Like every time I put out a video, my frequency just goes, whew through the roof. So thank you. <laughs> and thanks to all my Patreon people. And I'm sorry, this is jiggling because I have this, I don't know if I've said this before, but I have this really high tech setup where I've got my laptop sitting on top of a upside down laundry basket. I'm sitting on my bed. So every time I move it jiggles. Anyway, I'll have a good week. And, uh, if you need anything, give me a shout, send me an email. Much love to everybody. Have a great week. Bye.